Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fixum TV. We're back to some good old fashioned Warframe. I haven't played Warframe in that long. Excuse me. I'm going to get my music together. Alrighty, and let's. Beautiful. That's nice. I always like to have great music. Crawling music in the background. Okay, so there's. Let's give a. A short update to what's been actually happening with my Warframe. This is my Rhinoceros, my Rhino Prime, also known as my Angelic Rhino, with my Soma Prime. I like a lot of, I like the the crit based weapon. Uh, my Sonoid Gamma Core. I actually want to find something different from each, for each, because the Sonoid Gamma Core is actually really good against Corpus. But I'm thinking what would be I'm thinking what I want to do because each class I want specifically to um, sp I want I want each class to have a weapon set that specializes for who I'm actually fighting um, I think the Soma Prime is probably a good all-around weapon especially because of how crit how much crit it actually does but I'm thinking because the Sonora Gamma Core does so much damage as um Sonora Gamma Core does so much damage, I'm thinking I can probably get something that actually helps a lot more in Fested. So... Um... Let's see... What else do I have? Do I have anything done? Atlas Joy, da 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 da. I'm not using any of that right now. Um. Oh, and my arc wing. I haven't actually. I haven't shut off my arc wing in a while. Jeez. Oh, this is. This is the tank in the sky. Uh, with the Nux. With the Gratler. I actually just started using the Gratler. Gratler is actually a really good weapon, by the way. My gosh. I freaking love the Gratler. Freaking love it. Freaking love it. Let's, um, we don't want stunning speed. Let's, uh, da 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 da. I do want to do some, clear out some of these other missions. Let's see. Fasted, da 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 da. Fasted defense. Hmm. Do I have anything left on Lua? What about the Kuva Fortress? I know I have some stuff on the Kuva Fortress I haven't got done. Uh, uh, that's Arcwing. Exterminate. I don't know if I, my, my Arcwing will actually be strong enough to deal with it. Oh, all this stuff is Arcwing. Oh, that is just fantastic. This is all the stuff. Oh, wow. This is all this <laughs> stuff I just haven't done yet. Um, let's try it. Let's start with it. Matter of fact, let's make it public. Let's make it public. Don't know if I'm going to regret this. We're going to try it because we actually want to get this mission done. <sighs> okay. I'm oh, changing my ship too. I had the ship for a long time. I remember when the ship actually first came out, maybe, I, I want to say almost maybe about, I want to say maybe a year and some change ago. Like I wanted to get it. I think, I think this is the ship that actually does the, um, was it the carpet bombing? And I really wanted it for the carpet bombing. And I don't know what I was thinking. A part of the way I was thinking about the, um, the, the carpet bombing with these Lissettes uh, would do, I thought it would actually do significant damage, but in-game stuff, the carpet bomb that these, that this stuff actually does is really non-existent. Um, you start hitting higher level stuff and you start going from 40s to 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and even 100. Carpet bombs don't matter. It's all about your Warframe and what you put together on your Warframe, and if you haven't necessarily put in the work, then it's not going to matter. Period. <laughs> It's not going to matter, period. 
So this... I thought that was pretty... I thought it was pretty funny. I, I really, really wanted that carpet bomb to work. Because in my mind, I was like, ooh, I can call in airstrikes. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. But that's it's not the case. It's not the case whatsoever. Huh. And there we go. Alrighty. How am I get sliding kills in the air? Alright, well, whatever. Hmm. We can destroy that. Okay. Boom. Woo! There we go. Lay down. Lay down. You can lay down too. Oh, can't destroy those, apparently. Thank you. Look at my sentinel. Putting the work. Laying him down. Alrighty. You know, one thing I've always, I've kind of been curious that I actually would love in this game is, um, are you serious? Oh, it's glass. I'm shooting the glass. I really would love that if they put grenades into this game. Like, I haven't, like, I've seen other, other people use grenades, and I, I really think that would be, I, I've seen enemy use, I might like, use grenades, and I thought they used them pretty well. I would just, it would just be great. If if they can allow you to, you know, specialize your grenades, come up with some new mods and stuff like that for you, um, uh, like for these grenades and stuff like that, like to do with, you know, um, like they do with, um, you know, weapons and your warframe and all that great stuff. Do different styles. It, it'd be almost like, um, it would almost be like, like what is it? What what is it called? Uh, Borderlands. Oh my gosh, I play a lot of Borderlands. I'm mad I couldn't think of it. Like, it'd be almost like Borderlands. Like, Borderlands does that. Like, that would be great. Like, I would enjoy every bit of that. I keep thinking I can shoot these cameras. Well, I guess the good thing is, even though it's... Even though it is a uh, arc wing extermination, I don't necessarily have to necessarily have to do um, all the killing in my arc wing. Kind of just get my feet wet. Ooh, ooh, a yacht and star. Look like bouncing Betty's. Alarms have been reset. Come on, sir. And now we're off to the races. Hmm, this is in here. <laughs> no, I actually have. I actually have help. Is this a cut off security? No, I keep it going. Does not matter if we have security or not. We love security. Bring more security.
uh, Ballister. Eh. This is, we're doing a lot of pushing. I mean, it's not, don't get me wrong, it's not hard, but, you know, whatever. It's a lot of pushing. Push from one end to the map to the other. I mean, you know what, it is an extermination, so I shouldn't probably go too... necessarily go too far and go too far in depth with it I hope my um, I hope my Helios is actually scanning those Kind of upset if it wasn't. There we go. funny because I don't even stop like that but it worked in this particular warframe that I'm that I actually use I don't I don't even like how gonna put it I at first I really used to be like stop heavy with this warframe and used to build towards and see how much damage I can kick out but again like I I thought about it and I was like well you know his he doesn't necessarily need to like to, to kill people with his stomp but it would help if I could slow people down in like panic situations, you know? So I think one of the best things that I did do was move away from the more uh, attack heavy Warframe and turn him into a more, it might give him a more supporting role. I don't really need to kill those, but you know, whatever. That's the end of that. It's going to take me a nice squat. Oh my gosh, look at that. I, I tell you, one thing that I will always give credit for is that what this game does very well. Oh my gosh, my Helios died. I didn't even know. This game gets graphics and it gets the, the look of it. And it looks so nice. Like, I mean... It, but a lot of games, and for me, and I guess I don't necessarily care a whole, whole lot about, you know, a, a whole bunch of different graphics and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, like, you don't take those things for, I don't take those things for granted. I appreciate the fact, you know, that you can have made people, have made, I appreciate the fact that there's good graphics and all that other stuff. And, you know, that people actually put work into making the game look pretty. But what I really enjoy about Warframe is the fact that, you know, when you play it and you enjoy it and 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 you go through the story the story is actually unique is it's some there's a little bit of confusion on my part and that's probably because i go back and forth between planning and not but the game is really a good game you're talking about a game like usually like when i break down games especially when it comes to buying games now and with all the new games that's coming out with these um with indie companies and different uh with indie companies and 
different AAA companies that come out, I usually break down the games and like when it comes to purchasing them in categories, like how they advertise and things of that nature. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Usually I go by okay, well, what is this? I usually go by like what, like how can I put it? Does the game hit three different categories, such as is it a AAA price? Does it have microtransactions? And does it come out with seasonal DLC? And one thing I realized, there's not too many games that hit all three. And the only ones I can actually think of is Call of Duty that gives you a AAA price, um, seasonal DLC, and hits you with microtransactions. But this game only does one, which is microtransactions. But the great thing about it is you don't even need to do it, you know? Like, you can build everything in and like everything in this game, uh, buy all, um, like, uh, get all this stuff, except from what I think is cosmetics. Like, I, I think when it comes to, like, these these different skins and stuff like that, you can't, you, the only way you can get that is, um, is actually, like, purchasing it. But the actual weapons themselves, the pans or the ten, on my ten or all this extra stuff that you can get, you can just build it. It's all you need to do, and I think that's great. I think that makes it fantastic and it gives the game like it makes the game worth playing in my opinion do 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 so where are we gonna go to next where are we going to go to next? Should I do your rope or should I just stay with Lua? I do want to, again, I do, I, see, here's the thing. I need to develop my Grattata. My gra I keep calling them the Grattata. It's not the Grattata. I need to get my Grattler better <laughs> because, um, shut up. Nobody's talking to you. Rush. What is Rush? Like I need to get my grappler better because I, I I don't. It's only like a level five. Let's do it. Let's do. Let's go to Kepler. <laughs> let's try to knock out some of these missions. See if we could do some. See if we can do some. Um. I'll make some of these short missions and and try to get him out the way and try to build up this grappler. Cause I really like this weapon. Like I really think this weapon is great. You know what I mean? Like it's. Fantastic! The, the, the weapon itself is just pretty. Like the weapon itself is like already looks pretty in my opinion. And then to add on to that, like it's it's a, it's it's a what is it called? It's a mini gun. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a mini gun. Like you hold it down, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like take the side guns off those planes and the the Gatling guns, and it just instead of it goes around and shirt them like circles, it just shoots off like pistons. It's great. So. What is happening here? Seems like a lot of transports destroyed. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So that one thing I never, I don't understand how, I really must be out of touch. I do not understand. So I just need to just get to the transport in time? Is that, is this is what's happening? Cause if that's the case, then with this, This is bad. Oh, this is bad. Go to the right. If I'm a rhino, well, not a rhino. I got the Eltron. The Eltron is the slowest arc wing, and I'm outrunning this guy that's on my team. Unless he has an Eltron also. This is going to be bad because I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to make it. I really don't. 
1,500 meters, and I got 60 seconds to cover all that ground. Oh, gosh. I mean, maybe I might make it. I think I know what I need to do. Where's the other shield thing? Where's the other shield thing? Oh no. I think I know what to do. I think I've played. Let's see. Try a couple one more time. See how we can do this. Mm. I think if I'm trying to think, I think if you Hmm. Put on my thinking cap. I think you have to race there. Kill the shield things that are around it. Or around the um that are around the transports. Then once you destroy those, then shoot the ship. Cause the ship doesn't actually even take dam. It doesn't seem like the ship actually takes damage initially. God, seven thousand meters. Slow me down. Don't slow me. Don't slow me down. I really don't think I'm gonna make this one. I jump right in the middle of it. I really don't think. Oh, and I don't think I put the. Do I have the right setup on with this guy? Uh, I think I messed up. Yeah, the midpoint at this time is like, this looks bad. Yeah, I'm still about 3,000 meters away and you're talking about people already powering engines. And I took the wrong turn in Albuquerque. And apparently I'm stuck. Alrighty. Let's. Is fully this ain't happening. <sighs> Transport escaped. I'm getting a bonus for sure. The last 
transport is leaving. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to. There's two things that are probably gonna have to happen. Too slow, My transports are getting away. Corpus Commander. Sorry. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to solo this. Because if I keep jumping in the middle of missions with people that are already, they're not necessarily even um, gone too far in them, then I'm going to keep failing. And plus, I think I need, um, I think I'm going to need some more, um, what's it called, oak? I want to see oaks. I need to make my arc wing faster, pretty much. My arc wing needs to be faster. And um, my Grattler, my Grattler has to be, my Grattler has to be better. I have a Grattler equipped, the Grattler I have equipped, but I don't think I have the actual mods I want on it. We're going to try this mission one more time, and then we're going to... In the stream. Yeah. This has. Oh, because magazine. Eh. That's why. I was wondering why. Um. Uh, okay. I might just have to deal with speed. Automatic trigger. I'm gonna need that magazine extension. It's just what's going on half the hat bang. Door rounds. Can I fit it? Will it? Oh! Okie doke. So we got the raw damage. We got the multi shot and a magazine extension. Alright, let's try it with this and see and see how this works. And I'm gonna solo it. I don't necessarily wanna do that. Cause I actually this is I don't I don't play Rush like that, but I really want to see how this actual, I actually complete this mission correctly. And I'm glad, I feel like also they improved the flight with the arc wing. When they first introduced the arc wing, the flight was pretty easy to me. I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. But now it, it, it was like this bridge where after the, it was a new update that happened. I can't remember if it was the update. I think it was around the time, was, I want to say maybe when Second Dream came out or, um, I think maybe it was second dream, maybe it was before, and I don't know. But I f around that time when that update came out, there was the, like the way the arc wings felt were so, in my opinion, drastically different than what it used to be. I was just like, my gosh, like I cannot, like it's so much harder for me to fly than uh, um, than I was used to. I was like, this is this doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're kidding me. This is good. What was grabbing me? Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. All right, so I absolutely, okay. So I'm learning some lessons about this, like about this, this gun. Ah, wrong way. That. I'm like that. I'm gonna have to keep for future reference. There's no way I can take off. Um, there's no way I can take. Um, I, I can 
use this gun without uh without a that that 60 percent plus fire rate like this like it's not it's not terrible without it but it rem it it reminds me of the gorgon if anybody knows me anybody if any, if any of my friends know how i felt about the gorgon they know i freaking hate it i hated the gorg the gorgon like with every fiber of my being like it's not it's passable like i'm not you know i'm not dying but i really do not like the gorgon like, at all my gosh If you want to talk about a gun that can that has found its way to get under my skin, like you talking about the Gorgon. Oof. Transports all power to shield rollers now. Do we have to melee him? Okay. Okay, great. So that's pretty much what you have to do. So this was more of a lesson for me than it was for anybody else. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta run. You gotta destroy the little shells that are on, like that are actually surrounding it. And I'm pretty it's, apparently they, they, they go off in a particular order too. So that's one thing I actually have to pay attention to. Um, so pretty much kill them, knock. I'm like, shoot the shields off of them and kill them. They're pretty weak. And um, after that happens, and I, I'm like, then it's pretty much easy pickings from there. But if I can do it with Eltron, um. With was that uh, two upgrades on that hyper thrust and uh, mm, excuse me, I'm pretty sure you guys could do it. But that's all the time I'm going to have today and all the time I'm going to use of your time. I keep burping. Oh my gosh, this is it's probably because of this rock star that I'm drinking. This tastes delicious, by the way. Um, but that's all the time I'm going to have today. You guys have a great day, and I will see you again in the next stream.